Hi, I'm Dominga. I am a freshman in college studying arts administration. I am a self-proclaimed Harry Potter nerd. I love Audrey Hepburn movies and I love to sing, dance, and act as much as humanly possible. I was also born with a genetic disorder called Marfan Syndrome. People with Marfan Syndrome have a change in the gene that tells our body how to make fibrillin 1, an important component of connective tissue. Since connective tissue is found all over our body, most people with Marfan syndrome have differences in at least three or more body parts. All right, today my friends and I are going to show you how to recognize some of the major features of Marfan syndrome that can be seen just by looking at someone. Keep in mind, however, that some features of Marfan syndrome, like heart problems, for example, can only be detected by running special tests. One of the key characteristics of Marfan syndrome is something called ectopia lensis, which means that the lens of Sydney's eye will move away from the center of the pupil. This is because the connective tissue holding the lens in place is lax. If you look closely at Sydney's eye, you can see a very characteristic movement of the lens. My birthday. My name is Alex. And I'm Ezra. And this is Cassie and Penelope. Hello. Hello. And Cassie was born with a genetic syndrome called Marfan syndrome. We wanted to show you a feature Cassie was born with. As you can see, Cassie's chest sinks inward toward the middle. This is called pectus excavatum. But Penelope, what is it that you call you and Cassie call it? Target. Target. Why do we call it a target, Cass? Because Penelope likes to shoot water in it. Yeah, she what? used to laugh all the time when I put water in it. Why would you put water in there? Because that's what made her laugh. Can you take a picture of it? Oh yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm making a movie of it. What do you call it? Many people with Marfan syndrome have uniquely shaped chests. As you can see, my chest points out towards the front so that the distance between my sternum and my back is pretty long. This is known as pectus carinatum. Hi, I'm Yael, and I have Marfan syndrome, and I'm in sixth grade, and this is my mom. When you first meet people with Marfan syndrome, one of the first things that you might notice is that they're very tall and thin, and that their legs and arms are very long. In fact, if you measure their arm span and compare it to their height, their arm span is longer. This isn't the case for people without Marfan syndrome. To measure my arm span, you need to get the distance between the two tips of my middle fingers. Now that we know my arm span, we're going to compare it to my height. This comparison is called the arm span to height ratio. For most people with Marfan syndrome, that ratio is at least 1.05 or greater. Another special feature of people with Marfan syndrome is pes planus, which means literally flat feet. People with this feature, like Cassie, don't have an arch in their feet. This, that.
your plan. Another thing you may notice about me is that my fingers are very long and slender compared to the size of my palm. Medical professionals would use the term arachnodactyly to describe them. Arachnodactyly! <laughs> I love that! Arachnodactyly is a hallmark of Marfan syndrome that can be seen in the hands and feet. You can see here that everyone's toes are especially long and slender. To determine whether someone has arachnodactyly, there are two things you should look for. One is called the wrist sign, and one is called the thumb sign. To show you the wrist sign, I'm going to take one hand and wrap it around the wrist of my opposite hand. As you can see, the thumb and pinky not only go all the way around my wrist, but there is at least a knuckle's worth of overlap between them. So here's the thumb sign. When I place my thumb across my palm, the entire end of my thumb, from knuckle to tip, lies past the edge of my palm. <laughs> All three of us have Marfan syndrome, and as you can see, we don't exactly look the same. But there are two features that we all share that are highly characteristic of Marfan syndrome. For instance, our faces are usually described as long and narrow. Would you say my face is long and narrow, Domingo? Yes, I would, Yamil. <laughs> oh, I like this kid. <laughs>